Uh, what is it like to have a uh, Walker Parker's back in the offensive line room for you guys as a whole? Oh, it's great, man. You know, he brings a great senior leadership dynamic to our team. Obviously, he's a guy who's racked up a lot of snaps in his career, a lot of in-game experience, but more important to that, he's a leader to our guys. You know, he's setting the standard for us every day, holding us accountable, making sure, you know, for example, we have a rule where we grab two lines after every play. He's the guy that's always on your foot trying to get you to do that. So, super thankful for Walker. Great to have him back. For you, what does it feel like, I guess, you know, going into this camp, being a little bit more established, knowing you can play different spots, you know, that you're kind of an MVP along the line. You can play just about anywhere. I mean, it's great, you know, to be able to have an opportunity to play multiple positions. You know, I'm a guy who I don't really care where I play. I just want to help impact our team. I want to help us go out there and win on August 31st. So whatever they need me to do, I'm more than happy to go do it, and I'm willing to learn more. Shoot, I'll go out there and play receiver if I got to. Are you more comfortable left or right? Or Not really. You know, I've growing up, I've had an opportunity and really, really blessed to have a great trainer growing up. I've been able to work both sides of the ball for years now, so I think I've been able to balance it pretty well. Is there a difference when you're switching, I guess, from the left to the right side, or is it kind of, I guess, the same? Not really. I mean, the biggest thing that I've noticed is just having to spend a little bit of extra time up there in the, the meeting room, just making sure I got all my rules and details down pat. So whenever I do switch, I don't have like a little glitch moment. Because I'd say that was my biggest problem last year around this time was just switching back and back and forth and just getting the two mixed up. So over the off season, I spent a little bit more time studying. I feel a lot more confident in my preparation this year. I've heard more than one offensive lineman. It started with Blake saying they're why. Is that a big deal for you guys this year, finding your why heading into the season? You have to know it. You have to. It's so important to what we do because there are days, I'll well, be honest, I don't want to go out there and practice for 20 periods, but you know, I got to make myself do it. You got to dig deeper. You got to find your deep resolve, which for me is my granddad, John Schroeder. You know, he played football up at UNC, had an opportunity to go play up in Canada, mess his hip up. So, Actually, I was just talking about that with some guys up there the other day. You know, it's been my duty in my mind to finish the job that he started. So whenever I'm in my head, whenever I'm down on myself, I just think back to my granddad. Is he still alive? No. No, he, he got sick and passed away. How long ago? When I was about 10 years old. So for you, you, you take his memory out there with you I do. every day? I do. It's super important to me. You know, I grew up idolizing my granddad. He was my superhero. You know, I was up there wrestling him on the bed when I was about eight years old, trying to figure out how I can get big and strong, maybe win one day. So for me, football's all about playing for his memory. What position did he play? Wide receiver. So where do you get the size from? God. God, <laughs> God and broccoli, I guess. I don't really know. So I guess that's your mom's dad. Yes, sir. And does she talk about that, that you, you know, you remind her of, of him a little bit or? I honestly just keep that to myself. You know, that's my personal motivation. It's the first time I've ever really shared something like that. So yeah, my biggest thing is I want to be vulnerable and I want to put myself out there because I feel like the more I talk about it, the more I can turn that into fuel for myself. For, the, for you guys as a why, was that kind of a team thing or is it kind of like the players that you guys wanted to just have a why when you, when, when, have a why when you, when you come and play? You know, as an offense, we've made it a huge objective over this offseason to get closer. So, you know, we have our little small groups that we have. We all got divided up into about six teams. We just all, we're getting vulnerable with each other. We're getting close. We're really getting to know each other on a personal level. Because in my mind, when we step out there on August 31st, that's what's going to be the biggest difference for this team is how close we are. Do you feel like you guys have achieved that? Are you, are you closer? Have you bonded? Most definitely. I know things about guys that I never would have even guessed at this time last year. So really just gelling as a unit and playing for each other. That's our purpose. Player-led thing, or is that the coaches? Player-led. Yeah, I think I heard that you guys were meeting up at least once or twice a week. Mm -hmm. like, what are all those meetings about? Is it film study or? A little bit of both. You know, guys just want to get in a little bit of extra work, making sure we're ironing out our details. But really, you know, it's just players taking initiative. I think I heard Kate's like get to find a lot of those meetings in terms of like telling you guys the standard of things he wants, and also receivers when he wants them to be on routes and stuff like that. Like, how different is that from Kate in terms of that? Cade has done an incredible job stepping up his leadership this year. I feel like he's really coming to himself. He's really figuring out who Cade Klubnik really is, and that's showing dividends out on the field. You know, that's a guy that, you know, I'd run through a brick wall for. So I'm just excited to go out there and see what he can do in August. Why, why would you run through a brick wall for him? What is it about him? He's genuine. He's him. He's not concerned with putting on a front for anybody else. It's just Cade, and he knows that, and he knows that we know that. Marcus State was saying the other night, you guys need to finish. Coach Sweeney was wearing a finished shirt. From what I've heard, you know, that that's been 
kind of some of his post-practice talks a little bit is you haven't earned anything. Is that a big deal for this team this year? Finishing. Is finishing? Oh, yeah. We're not satisfied with what we've done in the last few years. You know, we know that we are a championship caliber team. We know we have it in us, and we know that we haven't finished in the past. So I guess that's a lot of people's words for this year, just really pushing all the way through the end and making a statement at the end of the year. This is the first year that there's not a player that was on those national championship teams on the roster. Is that help you think make you guys a little more hungry because there is nobody to say, oh, back in the day we did this or anything like that? Most definitely. We're all starting from the same place. You know, we all have a common goal in mind, and we're all willing to do whatever it takes and put ourselves on the line to get there. So I think that's really also brought us closer as a team is knowing, hey, none of us have done it. We have one goal, and we all know what it takes. Because Coach Sweeney's done it. He tells us that all the time. So he has the experience to do it. All we got to do is follow him. I guess what has the competition been like in the offensive line room? I mean, just having seven guys come back with experience, they're all fighting for five spots, obviously. So. The biggest thing that I love about our unit is we love our guys. We're all wanting to see each other succeed. We're all ready to watch each other go out there and kill it, no matter what snap count looks like, no matter what our starting lineup looks like. We're that well gelled as a unit, and I credit Matt Luke to that, especially just making sure that we really know each other on a personal level and are playing for each other. I guess how does he, how does he do that himself? Making sure that we're just together. You know, whether that's making sure that we're all meeting up and eating somewhere, just communing with each other and spending time with each other. And what's his, um, I think we talked about this a little bit in spring, just like his intensity and the way he kind of goes about it day to day. Like, does that change the way you guys play? I love it. It's accountability. Because, I mean, how can he show up and bring that energy every day and we don't match that? That's not an equally yoked relationship between us and our coach. So it's almost like, if I don't bring energy and we don't show up, I feel like I'm letting him down personally. And I think anyone else in our room can accredit that and say the same thing. How much um, cross training are you doing during this time of year? I know during the spring you guys did some, but right now, are you doing any or are you just staying at one area? I'm just making sure I'm ready to play whatever this team needs me to play. I'm bouncing around, I'm doing whatever I can when I can so that I can go out there and help our team.